Bye. Okay, people, so here it is. Boom, ready for the testing. Uh, yeah, it's a Milo tin, a magnifying glass, um, a heat sink salvaged from an old computer processor, um, an LED array chip, uh, four lithium ion cells salvaged from an old laptop, a boost converter circuit, a switch, and a charge port just there. And that's the, the higher power uh, maglite type torch. And boom. And that just destroys it. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. So, um, we have found the best tin for it, I believe. The magnifying glass lens fits perfectly around this seal here. We found this in a, in a store. It's a 2015 Milo Nestle energy drink. It costs £1.50, so we haven't spent a lot of money. All we got to do... Worried that I'm going to make a mess. Anyway, um, we've got loads of Milo. So we've got chocolate drink galore. And now we've got a nice shiny tin. And if you actually, if you look on the inside, it's nice and shiny. This is going to be perfect for our torch. So uh, we've got a couple of different magnifying glasses and if you can just point at the ceiling uh, you can see that at the ceiling there with one of these magnifying glasses we can create a lovely picture of the, uh, of the LED array and that's one of the magnifying glasses. Here's the other magnifying glass. There's the other one there. Yeah, interesting stuff. We should be able to focus this but if you look at where, if you can hand back down here honey, my face. Um, you can see that we're actually having to get quite a long way away from the light to be able to focus that beam with this magnifying lens. So we might need a different lens, but um, anyway, uh, ultimately, there's the tin, whoops, there's the lens, and uh, there's a second lens, look at that, beauty, smash it. The lens fits Thanks. nicely down inside the tin. Um, so the plan now, is to find a way to fit this about halfway inside, about halfway down inside that tin. So, my thinking um, is to take a screw or some screws and um, put them through the wall of the tin and uh, in between the leaves of the heatsink. Um, maybe that'll hold it all together. Bit dubious, but we'll see how we do. So I found drills, drill bits, and all that kind of stuff. Put a bit of tape round where approximately I want that to, to fit. And I've even managed to find 
a few screws after having dug through one of my screw pots. Anyway, um, a few loose screws. We it's have got loose. something in the way of a torch. Well, body for it anyway. Oh, honey, how about a nice glass of hot chocolate? Okay. All right, let's open the tin. Oh, boom! <laughs> Don't have multi-core solder, just lots and lots of thin stuff. No worries, get yourself an electric drill. Now, now you've got multi-core solder. Okay, so what we've got, um, we've got a set of four lithium-ion cells, 18650s, recovered from uh, laptop batteries. Um, we've got an old processor, a heatsink, um, which was recovered from an old computer. We've got um, a Milo Nestle Milo tin, uh, which uh, was uh, a pound fifty. Um, very kindly, the uh, buck converter and the LED uh, were given to me by Richie. Um, Something that I found recently is, uh, and, oh yeah, and the, the, the lens was um, a £1.50 magnifying glass. Something that I've, I've realised recently is that I can put the lid back on the tin to protect the lens, which is, uh, and also to stop me, to stop myself from blinding myself. Um, so, uh, in theory then, that can all fit in there now. I've also put a little uh, charge connector on here so that you can charge it up. And I have a switch there as well. Um, now, uh, we could do with probably putting some kind of a handle on this, but, uh, but yeah, there it is. That's the bad boy. Ooh, that's bright even with the lid on. Um, so yeah, just a few little finishing touches um, and then we've got to take it outside and give it a try. I might even hot glue it to the heatsink and see how long it lasts like that. Um, I, to be honest, I don't think it's... Uh, I, I, I think this is a temporary arrangement. I think this is just goofing around at the moment. Um, I've got a feeling we'll probably have a much bigger build coming of uh, a much brighter lighting. Uh, in, in the near future. We may even make some uh, disco lights or something like that. A little uh, a sound sensitive lighting system with filters over the front in red, green and blue or something funny. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I need to measure the voltage just quick. Um, make sure that uh, we're not putting too much voltage across the, um, across the LED. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I think we're, we're, we're sort of, we're, we're almost, we're almost there. Awesome. So you got 16 volts from the lithium ion cells. Ooh, that's a little high, isn't it? 36 volts on the output here. There we go. Right, so we'll wind that up to 33 volts. Cool. Okay people, so here it is. Boom, ready for the testing. Inside, we're gonna, com uh, we're gonna compare it with uh, a few of these little torches that we've got going on. Um, and uh, finally this one actually, this one's quite a good one. Boom. Yeah, that's quite serious. So let's take them outside and see how they perform. 50 watts, allegedly. Chinese 50 watts LED. We're in torchlight. This is um, this light here. Uh, light up the garden with it. Yeah, you can't really tell that it's actually doing anything, can you? So I'm going to use, use the Milo tin light. Here we go. Boom. That sort of works, doesn't it? Okay, honey, can you turn on the... All right, that's the, um, that's the, the higher power uh, maglite type torch. And boom, 
and that just destroys it. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> My honey's nuts. <laughs> okay, cheers guys and girls. Thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, subscribe, rate, comment, all that kind of stuff. See you next time. Bye! A dirty snowman. Dirty snowman. Yay! Bye!